Hi, my name is Dex from My Consult, and today we're looking into how we can actually manage lender costs in AutoCount. So what is actually lender costs? Lender costs is expenses that a company incur while importing products into the country. So the cost usually connected to this will be things like custom duties as well as taxes. If you like to use this in AutoCount, you will need to make sure that you have this module called lending costs. You can contact us or your dealer to activate it for you. Alright, so once you have activated it, now you can actually go into your purchase invoice and then from here you can see there's three columns, foreign charges, local charges and duties. Alright, so first let's key in two products first, let's call in a supplier, let's call in our products. So let's say here we put hardware and we put here I want 10 quantity at 100 ringgit and then I select next item, I want hardware number two, I also want 10 units at 50 ringgit. All right. Okay. So now what happens is this is the cost that you incur when you purchase from your supplier. However, because you are importing these products, there are other things like duties and taxes as well. All right. So to key that in, there's up here, there's one called landed cost. Click here. All right. So you can actually have split it up to foreign charges and local charges. So let's say shipping charges is in foreign charges. Then you can put here. This is maybe uh, one 900 ringgit and then maybe here is 300 ringgit, all right? So normally I will always recommend my clients to use subtotal. So then means this cost of 1200 will be spread over based on the value of the product instead of things like weight of the product or volume of the product because sometimes a heavy item can be not as expensive as a light item. So for us, always I recommend using subtotal, all right? So once we press OK, the system will then calculate based on the subtotal 600 and 200, 300 and 100 here. All right. So the next thing that you need to know about lender cost will be duties. So in Malaysia, right, some items will be charged either a 0%, 5% or 10% depending on the category or the tariff codes. All right. So to spread it out based on value would not make sense because uh, some items could be zero and because another item is 10%, then that cost will increase. All right. So therefore in auto count, what happens is we have a duty columns for you to key in the import duties based on item. So let's say example, this is a 10%. So we put here hundred ringgit. Okay. So if this is zero, we leave it as zero. Okay. So as you see, right, the total is still remaining at 1005 because this is how much that you would need to pay your vendor. All right. Not inclusive of all your duties. Okay. So once we're done, we just press save and then let's check out our stock card okay we press inquiry so let's say this product so let's say this one is pi 17 so you can see based on what our cost is actually 190 so this is actually our landed cost okay instead of the 100 ringgit already okay so this is how lender cost works in auto count do like and subscribe so that you'll be notified when we release new guides weekly Thank you.